Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and ready to share with you some time in Proverbs and I'm going to be reading the reflection from Hope Church in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, highlighted verse for Proverbs 2 verses 1 through 6. My son, if you accepted my words and stored up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding. Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, come knowledge and understanding. In this passage, the writer uses many active verbs to convey his message. This tells us that we must actively seek wisdom. We don't just fall into it or drift into it. The Lord wants us wants to give it to us for our protection and for our joy. So this is about setting the intention to seek his presence in whatever it is in our daily circumstances. But it is free will is up to us to, to knock, to seek, to ask, to make sure we're turning towards him for that level of discernment because he really wants us to be filled with ease and joy and peace. So on to the readings for today. This is Proverbs 2. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, and if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds victory in store for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk is blameless, for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. Wisdom will save you from the ways of the wicked men, for men whose words are perverse, who leave the straight path and walk in the dark ways, who delight in the doing wrong and rejoice in the perseverance of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. It will save you also from the adulteress and the wayward wife with her seductive words, who has left the partner of her youth and ignored the covenant she made before God, for her house leads down a path toward death and her paths to the spirit of the dead. None who go to her return or attain the paths of life. Thus you will walk in the ways of good men and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the unfaithful will be torn from it. You guys, great clarity and contrast. I love contrast. I love light and dark. If you followed me in Quadrant Living, knowing what is of the culture and what is of the kingdom, got it over here on the shelf as my ever going reminder. So if we spend time in his word, being very intentional to seek his wisdom, the exchange policy, we give him our time an open heart and an open mind, and in turn, we will receive wisdom, clarity, discernment, peace. We're cultivating an environment of internal peace, cultivating the fruits of the Spirit. This is the journey through Proverbs. I want to thank you for joining me. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.